Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack who lived with his mother in a little cottage. They were very poor, and their only valuable possession was a cow that was too old to produce any milk. One day, Jack's mother decided that they had to sell the cow. She sent him to the market and told him to make sure he got a good price for it. On his way to the market, Jack was stopped by a mysterious old man. I will give you this bean in exchange for your cow. Why would I give you a whole cow for one little bean? This isn't just any bean, it's a magic bean. It will grow into a beanstalk that touches the sky overnight. That's impossible. Why should I believe you? If my words don't come true, you can have your cow back tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. Jack wasn't really convinced, but what did he have to lose? He traded his cow for the magic bean. Tell me, how much did you get for the cow? Well, I traded it for this magic bean. What? You gave away our only cow for a useless little bean. How could you? Jack's mother was furious. She tossed the magic bean out of the window and sent Jack to the attic without supper. When Jack woke up early the next morning and looked out of his window, he saw something that hadn't been there before. A very odd-looking tree. Oh? Oh, what is that? Can that be my magic bean? Jumping out of his window, Jack landed on the magic tree and looked up. The old man told me the truth! Ah, it really is touching the sky! Oh, I'm gonna check it out! Curious to see where it led, Jack began to clamber up the beanstalk. After climbing all day, Jack finally reached the sky. There were fluffy clouds all around him, and in front of him was a magnificent castle. He was beginning to feel tired and very hungry, so he approached the castle's enormous doors and knocked as loudly as he could. Suddenly, the heavy door creaked open all by itself. Surprised, Jack went in and looked around. He had never seen anything so beautiful or so shiny. Wow! 
Finally, Jack found his way into the kitchen where he discovered a loaf of bread and some milk. Just as he was about to sink his teeth into its crispy crust, he heard loud, booming footsteps, and the entire castle shook as if there was an earthquake. Frightened, Jack ducked under the table. The next moment, a horrible giant entered the room with sacks of gold coins in his hands. Fee fi fo fum! I smell the blood of a human! The giant looked around, but he did not see anyone. <laughs> Perhaps it's just the smell of the turkey I had last night. Oh, I am tired. I think I will go to bed. As soon as the giant left the room, Jack emerged from his hiding place and made his way onto the table. Look at all that gold! <laughs> we will be rich now! <laughs> Jack grabbed two sacks of coins and leapt from the table. He crept through the giant's living room, quiet as a mouse, and ran back to the beanstalk. Jack told his mother all about his adventure and about the giant and showed her the sacks of gold. Later, Jack climbed the beanstalk again and went back to the castle. As he was sneaking around the castle, he heard the giant's booming footsteps again. He couldn't reach the table fast enough, so this time he hid in the closet. <laughs> Lay me a golden egg immediately! Abracadabra! <laughs> the hen obeyed instantly and laid him a shiny golden egg. The giant took it and left the room. As soon as the giant went away, Jack climbed onto the table and took the hen. He snuck out very quietly and ran to the beanstalk before the giant realized what had happened. Jack came home and showed the hen to his mother. Look, Mom! It lays real golden eggs! Give me an egg! Abracadabra! <laughs> Obedient as before, the hen produced another golden egg. Oh, Jack! Stealing from others is wrong! You have to learn an honest trade and work hard for your living. But we have a hen that lays golden eggs! We don't need to work! Jack became greedier and greedier and went back to the castle to steal more. When he came in, the giant was there and Jack heard him talking. Sing for me, abracadabra! Suddenly, the harp began to play beautiful music. This music is making me very sleepy. I will go take a nap.
as soon as the giant left the room, Jack climbed onto the table once again and carefully picked up the harp. <laughs> to his dismay, the moment he took it into his hands, the harp began to shout. into the kitchen and spotted Jack before he was able to hold. You! How dare you take my harp? Are you the same thief who stole my gold coins and my magic pen as well? Jack slid between the giant's legs and ran for his life. I will get you for this! Jack slid down the beanstalk the wind whistling in his ears. But when he looked up, he saw that the giant was coming down after him. Reaching the ground, Jack grabbed an axe and began to hack away at the thick beanstalk. With a loud crack, the beanstalk broke and came crashing down. Losing his grip, the giant came tumbling down with it and fell to the ground dead. That day, Jack learned an important lesson. He never allowed himself to become greedy again and understood that he had to work hard every day. Then he would live happily ever after. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp The Little Prince Five peas. A dog of Flanders. The Pied Piper. The Country Mouse and the City Mouse. The Snow Queen. Carrot Head Pinocchio Les Miserables